Hello. One of the things you've been learning about in this unit is interviewing sources. In this video, we're going to talk about strategies that help a journalist take accurate notes when they are interviewing a source. These strategies are necessary because people speak much faster, around 150 words a minute, than they can write, around 25 words a minute. We'll look at three different strategies. One, using abbreviations. Two, using symbols. And three, using indentation. Let's look at abbreviations first. An abbreviation is a shortened form of a word or phrase. So, instead of writing down every letter in a word, a journalist chooses to leave some letters out. This means that they can write much faster. The important thing is that they must be able to recognize the word when they look at it later. There are two main ways of abbreviating a word. The first is to take out the vowels, by which we mean A, E, I, O, U, and leaving in the consonants, B, C, D, F, etc. So, for example, the word journalist is written J, R, N, L, S, T, because the O, the U, the A, and the I are not written down. Another example is with the word note-taking. Again, if the vowels O, E, A, and I are removed, then the word looks like N-T-T-K-N-G. The other main way of abbreviating words is to just use the first syllable of the word, or perhaps the first two syllables for long words. So, a word like government is just written down as gov, the first syllable. Or the word hospital is just written down as hosp. For some words, such as economics or international, the first two syllables can be used, econ or inter. The next note-taking strategy involves using symbols. A symbol means a picture that represents something else. In note-taking, this means a picture, shape, or icon that represents a word or phrase. A common example of this is the dollar sign that represents money. Another common symbol is an arrow pointing up that represents an increase. So, if you want to take notes on the phrase, the government is spending more money on hospitals, you could combine abbreviations and symbols and write down gov, S-P-N-D-N-G, up arrow, dollar sign, on hosp. More examples of common symbols are and, less than, more than, and for example. A third note-taking strategy is indentation. Indentation means that a line of text begins further to the right. On a keyboard, you do this by pressing the tab key. When taking notes, indentation shows that this line is part of a larger idea. Let's go back to our earlier sentence. The government is spending more money on hospitals. Remember that it looked like this. Gov, S-P-N-D-N-G, up arrow, dollar sign, on hosp. Imagine that there were two ways that the government was spending more money on hospitals. One, employing more doctors and nurses, and two, buying expensive machines, such as CT scanners and heart monitors. When taking notes, 
the information can be indented to show it is part of the larger idea. So, we can say the government is, one, employing more doctors and nurses, and two, buying more expensive machines, for example, CT scanners and heart monitors. Okay, so now you have learned strategies for taking notes. You can use abbreviations by either taking out the vowels or using the first one or two syllables. You can use symbols to represent words and phrases. And you can use indentation to show that something is part of a larger idea. In the next video, we'll look again at quotes from sources and how to change them into reported speech.